So, Mars has several faces. No, really. Back in 1976, when the Viking 1 orbiter was checking out the red planet, it spotted something interesting – a big structure that looked like a human face. It was in the region called Cydonia. It soon became very popular. A bit later, we also discovered the so-called crown face in Libya Montes. Mars in general has a lot of strange structures on it. In 2022, we spotted a door-like structure there. NASA's Curiosity rover snapped some pictures of a rocky mound called East Cliffs on Mount Sharp. This mound has natural cracks in it, and one of them is about the size of a dog door, like something from an ancient Egyptian tomb. A lot of people hype that story up. The image was shared widely on social media, making the crack look bigger than it really is. Some people think that it's hinting at extraterrestrial life. But after looking closely, NASA found out that it was just a narrow crack in the rocky terrain. These cracks and gaps are pretty normal in rocky areas, both on Earth and Mars. The crack formed naturally over time, maybe from wind erosion or Mars quakes. Mars is a gold mine of mysterious structures. Recently, we found some strange spiral shapes there. These are giant coils made of lava, and they look like big springs or loops. For years, we weren't sure whether Martian valleys were formed by lava or ice. These lava coils are shedding light on that mystery. Now, thanks to high-resolution images from NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, researchers have spotted 269 lava spirals that can't be explained by ice-related activities. What's fascinating is these lava coils are like the ones we see on Earth, like those formed by Hawaiian lava flows. These spirals are so well-preserved that they were easily overlooked before. They range from 16 to almost 100 feet wide and are subtle, blending into the dusty Martian landscape. These coils can teach us a lot about Mars's composition, especially its crust and mantle. We still don't know much about those. But Mars isn't the only planet with strange structures on it. For example, Saturn, the gas giant of our solar system, has a fascinating feature at its north pole – a huge hexagon. This is a hexagon-shaped cloud pattern that's about 9,000 miles long, making it larger than the diameter of Earth. It's thought to be a jet stream made of gases moving very fast, at about 200 miles per hour. This hexagon was first spotted by the Voyager mission in the 80s, and later seen up close by the Cassini mission in 2006. The Cassini mission noticed a change in its color from blue to golden over time. There are different ideas about why Saturn has this thing. One theory suggests it forms because of the way winds move at different speeds near Saturn's poles. Similar shapes were created in lab experiments when liquids were rotated at different speeds. Another idea suggests that a slow spinning stream of air, along with Saturn's special weather patterns, might be responsible. In 2020, we found that when storms are surrounded by winds swirling in the opposite direction, they can create a steady hexagon shape. So far, this is the most likely explanation. Saturn also got lucky with the bizarre moons. One of them is called Lapidus. This moon has a weird feature – a huge ridge that wraps around its middle like a giant belt. This basically makes it look like a giant walnut. Where's my nutcracker? This ridge is incredibly tall by our standards, around 8 up to 12 miles high and stretching 124 miles wide. It covers more than three-quarters of the moon's surface and is considered the third-largest mountain range in the entire solar system. Now, we don't have a clue about how this enormous ridge formed. It's unlike anything seen on other planets or moons. There's one idea, though. The ridge might be the remnants of a dead moon. Let's say billions of years ago, a colossal impact shattered chunks of material off Lapidus. These pieces circled around the moon, forming a mini-moon or sub-satellite. And over time, the gravitational pull of Lapidus tore this mini-moon apart, creating a ring of debris around it. As the debris from this ring fell back onto Lapidus, it built up the massive ridge we see today. They think this process happened quickly, maybe over centuries. Saturn's gravity didn't interfere because, luckily, Lapidus was quite far away from it. If Lapidus was closer to Saturn, its moon might have been pulled away. But we do need more simulations to see if this theory is true. Titan, another one of Saturn's moons, also has some weird stuff going on in its methane seas. Scientists have spotted these strange bright spots called magic islands that seem to pop up and disappear over time. We have no idea what they are. 
Titan's atmosphere is packed with complex organic molecules that clump together and fall to its surface like snow. These magic islands might be snow clumps that soak up methane and sink very slowly. But there's a problem. In water, molecules stick together, which is why stuff can float on top of it. But methane is different. It likes to grab onto other molecules, so it makes any solid thing sink immediately. Yet, these magic islands don't sink. There's a theory that these islands might be like sponges made of ice with lots of holes. When pieces of this holy ice come loose from the edge of the lake, they can float on Titan seas for a bit before going down under. There are also other ideas, like bubbles of nitrogen gas or waves caused by wind. We need more research to know for sure. Moons like to be weird. Just look at our own one. In 1971, we found a patch with missing soil on our moon, and it looks like a blue lake. They call this mysterious spot Ina. We first spotted it during the Apollo 15 mission in 1971. Later, the Apollo 17 mission took clearer pictures of it. This spot, shaped like a bluish D letter, is one of the weirdest things on the moon. The color comes from special rocks rich in titanium called basalts. These rocks cover Ina's floor and make it look blue. There are also bluish areas near the edges of the mounds inside Ina. Ina is unique and probably has a long history. It might have had volcanic activity, with mounds that are about 3.5 billion years old. It's similar to the surface age of the volcanic field that surrounds Ina. Now, our moon has its own face, just like those on Mars. There's an area near the moon's south pole that looks like a face. But it's just a bunch of craters and shadows that happen to make an image resembling a face when seen from far away. These craters have been there for billions of years and cover about 16% of the moon's surface. Some of these craters might even have water and ice inside of them. You might be wondering why there are so many faces in our solar system. Well, that's because our brains are wired to recognize faces, even when there aren't any. It's a phenomenon called pareidolia. Our brains try to make sense of shapes, so when we see something that looks a bit like a human, our brain turns it into one because it's familiar. Like when you see a shadow figure on a chair with clothes. Or even on Mercury, some people see shapes like Mickey Mouse. So don't worry, it's not extraterrestrial life. It's our brains that play tricks on us, making us see familiar shapes like faces even where they don't really exist. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.